seven feet. So now we have the free body diagram. You have the unknown reactions at A, you have the reactions at support B, then you have the equivalent force because of the rectangle here, plus you know it's acting, then you have the equivalent force near this triangle and you also know the location where it's acting. So <coughs> that was the step one, then you go to step two. And we're going to set up the equations of equilibrium. The first thing would be let's just sum the force along x, which should add up to zero. There's only one force, which is Ax, so that goes to zero. Then we're going to sum the forces in the y direction. That should also add up to zero. And you have A, Y going up. You have 900 going down. Then you have another 200 going down. You have PY going up. And all that should add up to <coughs> zero. So that's the second equation out of the set. Now the third one. <coughs> to set up the third one, you need to choose a point. Now to choose a point, I mean, you could have the point anywhere on this plane, but you want a point which simplifies your solution procedure. And since you have unknown here and unknown here, then your choice of a point, a good choice will be this or this. And <coughs> the reason for that is, if I choose A, then this particular force will not give any moment to a point A. So the distance T will be zero. So when you set your equation up, your equation will only have one unknown, which is by. And same thing works with point B. And if you choose point B, then this as well as this will give you a zero moment. So your equation will only have this as unknown. So <coughs> if I choose, let's say, point A and set up the <coughs> moment equation, these two will give a zero moment, so those are not written up. So your first one is 900 acting at this is 4.5. The direction for the moment about point A is clockwise. <coughs> so being clockwise, if I want to switch this to counterclockwise, it plays a negative sign. The second one is 200. The distance from the point A is 7.667 and the direction is the same as this, which is clockwise. So again, I'm going to change this to counterclockwise, place a negative sign. The last one will be Py. The distance from point A is 9. Now about this point, this is going to give a moment which goes like this. So that's a counterclockwise, so you have a positive and <coughs> this will add up to zero. And if you go through the <coughs> actual calculations, your py will come out to be <coughs> a positive number and it's going to be 620 pounds. Since this came out positive, so it maintains its direction. And that's really step three. Because now you start solving for the unknowns from your equation. <coughs> then we go here and <coughs> since you already have PY, so you have AY minus 1100 plus 620, that will go to zero, and that should give you the reaction A Y, and that should be 480 pounds. Again, that's positive. That means this continues to go up. So <coughs> your answers for that is you have A X is zero. That's your one reaction. 
then you have a y as 480 <coughs> pounds that goes up and then you have b y which is 6 420 pounds and that goes up so that's basically <coughs> it says the three step process the first step was to set up this diagram second step was to set up these three equations and the third step was to actually go through the calculations for unknowns now <coughs> as I said before that I could use this equation I could use this equation and instead of this you could choose this or you could sum your moments by point B that should also be zero so if I want to set up this equation the first force you're going to hit is 200 and the distance from point B to the force should be 4 third and <coughs> past this point this particular force is going to produce a counterclockwise moment so take the counterclockwise and keep the sign as positive the next one is 900 and the distance from uh, here we're looking at the distance here so that's really the same as 4.5 it's going to produce a counterclockwise moment I take that as positive then you have the last force which is a y that's a distance of 9 feet now about this point, this is going to produce a clockwise moment. So I could make this negative, change this to counterclockwise, and this should add up to zero. Now if you go through the calculations, you will find that your Ay should come out exactly the same as this. That is 480 pounds going up. So <coughs> as said earlier, that is not that you could just use point A, you could use any point, but you do make a selection based on the forces. And in this particular problem, <coughs> it could have been A, it could have been B, and both will give you the same set of answers, except now you once you have AY, you're going to go back here, you're going to find BY, and that should come out to be 620 pounds going up. So I mean that's another way of solving this particular problem. Okay, we're gonna look at